Later, bike. Later, Krusty. I'll miss you. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Before we start on today's video, let me give you guys a little tour of the finished garage. I'm show you guys what I have inside. Got a bunch of shit that I still need to organize, but I'll do that in the future. Over here, we have my sticker collection. If you have cool stickers, send them my way. This is from uh, Scooter in Lake Tahoe. Support them. Support yourself. But yeah, if you got cool stickers, send them my way. If you don't know who this guy is, then you're missing out. This guy will protect your garage from evil spirits. And bad luck, pretty much. So if you need a copy of him, let me know. I'll send you the file and you can print it and keep your garage safe. And over here we have my helmet shelf that I made with uh, leftover wood pretty much. A lot of you guys asked about my helmets. This one is uh, TT & Co from Japan. I got a spare one, which is this one, the white. Just in case I ever lose this one, I have this one to, uh, to wear. This black one over here I got from Young that he bought from Thailand. I'm not sure what brand it is. And over here is my first ever barber helmet that I got from a swap meet. This shit is not safe at all. Look at that. This one I got from Biltwell. It's a little novelty, three quarter. This one in Biltwell as well. But yeah, those are my helmets. And that asshole garage uh, sign I got it from Long Beach swapped me back in 2015, I think. It's, it's been a while. Over here, I got my Harbor Freight drill press that I still got to bolt them down. And I got to restore this wire, wire box that I got from Dat. I'm planning to uh, clean it up. If the paint is still good, then I don't need to repaint it. But if not, then I'm painting a different color. And over here we have my shovel. If you've uh, been watching our channel for a while, you should know that I've been having this shovel since 2016. <laughs> it's funny that I posted a, a post yesterday on Instagram saying that I got a new bike. And a lot of you guys say that I got a shovel. I wish I could afford another shovel. They're just so expensive nowadays. And I don't have the funds for it. And you see the new bike in a minute. I got a really good deal for that bike. And over here we have my bicycle. It's nothing fancy. It's a state bicycle company. I got it used on Craigslist for like 300 bucks. Trying to stay in shape, you know. I uh, bike every Tuesday. So if you're in San Jose and you want a bike, hit me up. And over here we have a knucklehead poster that I got from the swap meet as well for like five bucks. Down here, swap meet score as well. Little ketchup, ketchup uh, poster on a sporty. Over here, we have my mini bike, mini bicycle that I call Little Grande. A little small, but packing a lot of attitude, you know what I'm saying? I'm planning to put a motor on this one. The motor I'm planning to use is uh, those scooter. Those uh, lime scooters you see on the streets. Yeah, I'm planning to put a motor on that. So it should be a fun build. And then over here we have my um, electric saws. And then just products. Down here, painting machines, as you can see from the old video, from the previous video. And just storage stuff. You gotta have a couch in the garage where you can just sit back and relax and look at your bills. And over here, we got the picture wall that is not complete yet. I still got to print out pictures of my three shadows that I built. Rusty, Dusty, and Krusty. 
Over here we have a picture of me with my uh, 1930 Model A. And then up there we have our uh, first uh, motorcycle camping trip ever. We took uh, Highway 1 north of Highway 1 to Highway 36. It was, uh, it was a fun trip. This is uh, Miller 211 that I that I bought back in 2016. I added two shop lights for the garage, one over here, and one up there. Make sure everything's lit, you know? These bars are gonna be on the new bike soon. I found those bars at the swap meet for like 20 bucks. I've been saving it for a while, and it's gonna be on the new bike. And can't forget this, if you're from San Jose, you gotta stay repping, you know? Over here, we got my Snap-on toolbox. It's actually uh, meant for aircraft because there's uh, drawers on the side. This thing is heavy as hell. Quality shit, you know? But yeah, I think that's uh, pretty much it for the garage. Oh yeah, one thing that I still gotta get is a mini fridge. You gotta have that in the garage. Other than that, I think it's coming together pretty well. But yeah, what do you guys think? Comment below. Let me know. All right. This uh, last time you guys will see this bike, we got a buyer. Owner. Marco owner, from Half Moon Bay. Congrats, bro. Yeah, thank you, man. Enjoy her. Oh, I love it already. <laughs> yeah, he showed up with no truck. You know what I'm saying? So he's down to ride home. I've never ridden a suicide trip like that either. Just figuring it out on the way home. Yeah, that's how you learn. That's the best way to learn. why I decided to sell it is because I needed something bigger for my wife and I to ride the 600 is great but power wise it's lacking a lot of power especially for two up and it's hard tail so it's not very comfortable for my wife another reason why I decided to sell a shadow is because I want to challenge myself with a new bill pretty much I have a checklist of different bikes that I want to add to my portfolio it's not for business or anything, it's just for my own personal achievement. Getting a different bill means more content for this channel, more things you guys can watch, and I'm trying to upload more than once per week. We're actually on our way to uh, pick up my new bike. Can you guys guess what bike I'm buying? Pause the video right now, comment below. The winner will get respect. <laughs> but yeah, we're on the way to uh, pick up the bike. I'm pretty stoked about this one. I actually found it this morning within 10 minutes of him posting the bike and then uh, we've been in contact for the past hour and yeah we'll be there in around 10 minutes see you guys soon if you guessed uh, sporty then you are correct this is the uh, 2005 sporty 1200 C pretty low miles too it's only have 8,000 miles so yeah, stay tuned for the build of this bike. It's gonna be a fun build. I'm excited. 
This is gonna be. First mod people think you're gonna do. Oh yeah, what's the first mod that you think I'm gonna do? Comment below. I'm stuck for this one. Super clean motor, and there's so many parts for this one too. So I'm excited. Just brought the bike home. Man, the power difference is uh fucking amazing compared to my shadow. All right, it's the following day. Yesterday was July 4th. You can't get more American than that. Buying a Harley on America's birthday. So after buying the bike, we went over to Vu's house to celebrate. Celebrate July 4th, not celebrating me buying a new bike. <laughs> but yeah, let me give you guys a little walkthrough of the, uh, the new bike. So as you can see, it's completely stock. Got some mods that the previous owner did to it, like this uh, windshield that it's gonna be for sale. It's a Hardy brand, 20 inches wide and 22 inches tall. It's gonna be for sale, so I'll put that on the Lane Split store. This uh, backrest and luggage rack will be for sale as well. Same with the Rear fender, the tank, and the front fender. The paint is still really good on these. The reason I'm selling all those stuff is because I'm gonna get new parts for it. So this model is still carbureted because it's uh, 2005. I believe they went with fuel injection in 2007. I prefer carbur carbureted motors anyway, so that's a plus for me. So in the future, I'm gonna replace the uh, belt drive with a chain, chain drive. I'm also gonna be replacing the pipes. And the forward controls, I'm gonna be replacing them with mid controls. So if you have a sporty and you're running mids and you wanna trade for forward controls, let me know, we'll work something out. Or if you have them for sale, I'll buy them off you and just sell my four controls. But yeah, if you see any stock parts on this bike that you would like to buy, let me know. Like the mirrors, speedo, the horn. But yeah, for this build, I'm actually gonna keep the suspension. I'm not going with hardtail on this one. I want to make it a comfortable bike for my wife and I. Well, yeah, I'm excited. What do you guys think? Let me know. Well, yeah, that's pretty much it for today's video. See you guys next time. Thanks for watching.